there's five different kinds of slot. So uh, this is, I've got modifications I can make here. Like I've got the different claws that I can add. I've got the different spikes that I can add, etc., etc., etc. So um, I'm going to end up saving five versions of this. Um, what I want to do though is because I don't want them all facing the right the same direction. After the stream, I will flip them horizontally, just so there's a little bit of variety. Um, and then. Um, Let's see. Oh, I want to show the video of me uh, drawing this guy. So here we go. They kind of look like toads to me. Since they're so warty and spiky. So that's what I went with. And then I drew all the accessories, of course. All right, great. So let's see. Chef slot, yes. Caesar slot, fruit slot. A nice fruit slot is always good. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, let's do the red one first. Actually, let me color the base body first because that's the real the trick of it. Um, colors. Okay. And then once I have the base body colored, it'll make it a lot easier to do the rest of these. And I guess I'm going to do red first. So. Stop that. Select what I mean, not not what it wants to. See, it's so irritating, I'm sure you can't see it, but there's a little selection pointer. So you think that that's what it's trying to do, but it is lying to you. It is inherently lying, and that gets super annoying because they don't really mean that. They really mean a different part of that icon. So, ugh. All right, red, huh? Red. Okay, that little dot there, of course, is his ear. I theorize that they have little, little flat, flat ears like, like frogs do. Okay, um, now they're gonna be, they're pretty color coded. So, I don't wanna make it like shades of red and yellow because then, uh, well, I could do that a little, just, just a little. just to add a little bit of color. And then I'm just going to clean this up a little. I can't select the areas since they're not actually separate.
that smudge. Maybe smudge will help me with this. Oh, that's terrible. I don't want to do that. Um, I guess I'll just paint it. No. I'll paint with the color I actually selected. Thank you very much. This red looks so pinkish. Maybe that's just my monitor. Or my eyes. Okay. And that's still a little more red, but more orange than I'd prefer. So I'm going to actually fill in some more red. Just, just to make it so that the yellow is just a detail. Okay, that's good. Uh, and then, of course, his eyes are, oh, let me take the rings away. I, I do normally paint with all the colors of the wind, but since these are actually like literally color-coded creatures, like red, blue, etc., I, I want to actually use the colors. In this particular case, I'm going to be tragically accurate. I, I know I'm betraying my own vision, but it's, it's, it's a hard knock life, man. Okay. You can just call this the first time I sold out. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I did that years ago. All right, uh, let's see here. All right, there's my red. My red. And then I need my token colors. Hmm, yeah, I did do something unusual for me here. Um, background colors. Okay. Um, let's get... No, I want to get the... There you go. Alright. Now, why is that not working? Did I do it? No, I didn't. So what is the problem here? Oh, now I know. Ignore that. I know nothing. Okay, uh, let's see. He's red. So, how about blue? Now I'm doing this with no gradients, no vertical gradients, because I gotta be able to turn this thing around. Um, let's see, he's red. Oops, he's red. So I guess green, 
and yellow would be good. Something vehement. Did it fill? See what happened again. Man. I'll get used to it someday. Select, modify, expand. One, two, three. And then I'm going to make the outside of that yellow. Select, modify, feather. 100. gonna do my paintiness right now. Where's where's my paint? Where my paint at? Uh oh it's in my template file. Fine, I'll go get it. Load selection, brush strokes. Um, <coughs> Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna move that back. Nerdarchy, how are you? I get 30. All right. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. And then my pixel scapes, I'll throw it down here. All right, now this is the red one. Okay, wait, this is my base slot, so I'm gonna save it. Now I'm gonna make the red one, which means they have claws, right? And I didn't bother with his nails on the bottom, but maybe I should just for consistency. just overlook his back. Um, all right, uh, claws, 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 claws. White claws, well, they don't really have white claws. Um, let me, hmm, no. I'm gonna just do these claws because all right let's let's get the oh interesting I made them. Okay, I did not know I did the thing. Okay, stop, stop, select, and deselect. Okay, I'm gonna run a filter here. I'm gonna make them like ridiculous chrome. Because as far as I'm concerned, you can't go wrong with ridiculous chrome. Um, really, it's just so it has a little bit of... Hmm. Let's 
see. Yeah, that's nice and gratuitous. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Takes a minute to recalculate. So I'll dance my ass around to entertain you. Oh, maybe I can go back. Yeah, here I am. It takes a while. HPG, this is that filter I was telling you about that is ancient and painfully just, yeah. I wish I had another way to do it. <sighs> yeah, that's painful. All right. Just so there's a little something to it. Okay, here is my red slot. Okay, I'm gonna save this file. Save as slot red. Okay. And now I'm just deleting those layers because. I'm not making red anymore. Now I'm going to do blue. Blue. Your slot is blue. Um, so let's make this body blue. Ooh, that's fun. Yeah, that's blue. Okay. Whoops. this and then I'm gonna make the pixel scapes match okay now blue blue has these claws more claws okay which means I'm gonna Do the same thing and filter and wait. Man. Well, while I do that, I will have to retweet that I am on Twitch because might as well since I'm waiting and waiting. You retweeted me. Thank you, Nerdarchy. Excellent. Okay. It's still filtering. It's a painful thing. But I really like the effect. It's a little different from like a regular bevel and boss. Alright. Okay, so that's blue claws. And is there anything else special about blue? No, it doesn't look like it. Very well. Um, so then I'm gonna save this. Not JPEG, thank you very much. Okay. And then there's green slot. How far do I have to go for green? That's that's a nice mottled horrible green. 142. So I'm shifting everything by 142. Um, that is kind of 
horrible. Oh, let me, let me, I'm going to adjust the background a little just so it's a little more different. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, but horrible is good because it's my kind of horrible. All right. So there's the green, but I have green accessories now. Ooh, fancy. So let's see. Let's see here. Oh, shush. Where's my, oh yeah, accessory. All right. Oh, did I? Okay, good. Accessories, there we go. What color should it bell be? I'm thinking blue. Blue is good. can shade it. With my blue airbrush. There. Okay. And then his staff is color is not here. A horrible orange. That would be really good. Hmm. Kinda. Maybe a dark blue? Mm. There's kind of a lot of colors in this neighborhood. Maybe a purple? I guess. Okay. And then a gem. Hmm. Pink. Give it a glow. Which I'm shifting a little. Okay. And I'm gonna get the... Oh, stop that. The little... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Let me let me take that glow away, because I want to do stuff with these little glow lines first. Then I can add that glow. The legit glow, I mean. Green glow lines. Okay, um, invert, no.
because the black works fine on most surfaces, but would not work when I put this on a black background. Which I do frequently. Okay, and now I can add the glow a little bit in the front. And then more in the back. You stop that. Oh, I see. Yeah, I want it behind the lines. Yeah, that works. Okay. Uh, and then I merge these clean accessories. All right. And save this as the green slot. Wait a minute. Has Photoshop been auto saving these? Oh, no. Okay. No, it's okay. Everything's fine. change it just a little. Okay. Saved. All right, now let's see. What's next? Um, gray. All right, that gets interesting. Uh, I'm just going to hide these accessories, which I can actually get rid of. Bring these claws back. Now I'm going to run that same filter, just so I have a little bit of texture, on the um, body of this sucker. So let's go into the filter. I'm going to add some texture to it. Select preset, layer style, liquid metal, um, white, which was, it was peaceful, huh? Very inappropriate. Okay. All right. Get rid of the shadows. I want to add depth. No, I want to polish it so it's smooth and not very deep because I don't want this to be like creepy. Yeah, these clouds gotta go. They're a little too obvious. All right, and then for the surface, chrome, yeah, fine. Um, what? No, no rainbow stripes. Uh. No, chrome, thank you. Did, did I say rainbow stripes? I did not. Um, but why is there, where do these clouds come from? Oh, I see, okay. Let's, let's add texture now. What's a good slob texture? 
It's nice and nasty, but hmm. that's a freaky texture. But I don't. It's got lines in some like random directions that I'm kind of not cool with. Oh, uh, let's try something else. Lunar surface. That looks kind of warty. That could be fun. It just looks generic. Um, These clouds still gotta go. The water drops are good. How I agonize. Um, I'll keep trying. How about random rocks? There we go. I thought it's too strong. Welcome to the clicking channel, where all we do is click. Um, let's see. This chrome is really problematic. I'm gonna have to change the, uh, that clouds to something else. Cause that's just god awful. I guess that's good. I don't know.
Yeah. Okay. Now I just have to wait for that to come back. Let's see, black t-shirt? Yes, I am planning to make black t-shirts of these guys because they certainly do pop on black, don't they? Um, I just have to find a printing service I'm happy with. Um, is there a particular one that you prefer? I mean, I know there's a lot of options out there. Teespring seems really popular. Um, there's Spreadshirt, there's Cafe Press, there's, uh, there's some other options. I'll figure it out. Let's see. Yeah, that came out the way I wanted. Excellent. Okay. I'm going to reduce the saturation on these claws so that they kind of match. Um. Oh, I overwrote my, uh, my eyeballs. Let me get in there and fix it. And my teeth. I, I need those teeth. It was a very tragic thing. I kind of like the slight shading on the teeth. Maybe I'll do something with that later. black light posters. That would be glorious. Okay. Now the silver is a little more... I guess it's okay. Uh, but there's something else that I'm Missing the fins. Here's the fins. All right. I forgot those. Um, give them the same filtering. I do have a button maker. I'm going to start making some buttons for uh, an upcoming convention I'm going to. That'll be fun. I've also looked at making enamel pins, um, but they're, uh, I mean, they're pricey to get set up. Um, and also, of course, unfortunately, they don't have, um, What's the word I'm looking for? No gradients. And you know I love my gradients. But I could still do like crazy colors. Um, I think it could work. But I'll have to talk to them about it and pick the right designs, obviously. Probably rework those designs so that they would work in a little tiny, little tiny inch and a quarter inch pin. We'll see. Ah, there's my shading. Excellent. And I'm gonna make that a little darker. So that it stands out a little more good. Okay. Um, and did I? I didn't shift the background, did I? 
that is a thing I'm going to do. Now, what colors did I do already? Oh, no, now I don't remember. i got to open them and find out. So there's my my precious gray salon. Okay, so I had not changed it yet. Let me let me change it. That's nice and awful. I will use that. The only one left is the death slot, which is basically a gray slot with extra spikes. Let me take a look at it again just to make sure. Yeah. It's a gray slot with extra spikes. All right. So. I mean, in reality, they have reality. <laughs> in the book, they have different like amounts of musculature and so forth. But, but ain't nobody got time for that. Cause I like slot and all, but I don't know that they're gonna be that. I just, I got a lot of monsters to draw, guys. And I don't think anybody's gonna select these individually. So, death slot spikes. Here we go. Excellent. Uh. All right, so I'm going to run the filter precious precious filter and then darken it all up and then see what happens thank you I like to think I have a great eye for color although primarily what I'm going for is just just clashing horrible horrible clashing um, as you can see up in the the my palette there I've got the first six colors are red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, and magenta. And um, because those are pure RGB colors, I can use hue and saturation to just sort of shift my way through, um, which makes it a lot easier when I'm trying to keep colors opposite each other and yet different from one piece to another. So that's the theory. All right, the filter is done. Multiply, yes, okay. So there's my spikes. And these spikes are pretty dark. So I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna do those second. First, I'm gonna change the body. I'm gonna use levels and make it real dark by default, but not all the way. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let me make the whole thing a little darker, and then I'll do it. There we go. It's got sort of a graphite tone to it, I like it. Okay. And then the spikes are darker, or 
about the same color actually. Um, let's let's uh, let's try that with just levels so that they still have highlights. Yeah, like that. That's yeah, fun. Okay. Ooh. Do I want to make them colorful? I like the color. I'm going to leave it for now. If there's color there, that means there's probably color here that I could pull up. Hmm, interesting. Let me... Which means I can make it like a dark... Yeah, there you go. So it's got an actual color to it, and it's not just silver. There. I like it. That's fun. Oh, painting minis. I'm going to paint some minis for my... Uh, my folks in my uh, in my campaign, we play on roll twenty, but they'll be like souvenir minis. And uh, I'm, it's been a long time since I painted minis. It's it's going to be interesting, let's say, to see how this goes, because it has been a while. Definitely a while. I used that actually. I used I painted minis as a summer job. I would do BattleTech minis, and I had this whole scam going. I shouldn't say scam, but I had people um, paying for two different versions. I do one with like battle damage, and one that didn't, and they loved it. Because they could. There you go. Makes the bottom of the spikes kind of stand out a little. And they loved it because then they could swap them in and out. And I loved it because I could make extra money. And it was relatively easy to paint because you could do both of them in the same step, right? You could do like. Um, Thank you. I like how it looks. But I need to change his eye color also. Um, where's the, where did I put his eyes? Spike outliner. Oh, where did I put his eyes? Here, facey facey, here it is. Okay, he, he needs red eyes, or no, he's got totally pale eyes. Um, let me make it gray. It's like my most monochrome thing ever, but I think it's appropriate. Um, but now I've got to yet again figure out what color to make the background. So let me open all my white lights are gray, red, green, blue. See if I were super systematic. I would have planned ahead and had the backgrounds automatically be five steps of color shift through the spectrum. But I totally didn't because the primary concern is to make sure that they contrast with the skin on the colored ones. So, oh well. All right, let's see. What, I can't do six up? Oh, uh, well, how am I gonna? Horizontally? Can I do that? Okay. All right, these all look different, which means my precious death slot has to be something else. Let's see if it'll work. You're not breaking my focus. It's all good. And a lot of that talking I did earlier was when I was um, waiting for filters to run. Let's see. Orange outside and teal inside? We don't have that, do we? I like it. That works. I think that works. All right, let me close these other ones. Yeah. Yeah, that definitely works. 
don't like it. <laughs> I wanna, hmm, I wanna do a little, a little bit of more highlight here. Let me see what I can do. I just want to do a little something to offset. Select, modify, feather. Uh, 15 and then whoops view extras I want to pull this up a little and uh, do I like that no I don't uh, uh, nah I don't I don't I'll do something else then let's see I want to do I want to do just a, a bright highlight on these to bring up the texture a little. See how that kind of mm, normal. Oh, let me. I'm gonna force it even more. See, it almost makes it glisten a little. There it is when it's on, and then when it's off. And it breaks up the dark a little. Let me... Actually, I'm gonna blur it a little. Let's make it more subtle. Hmm. Does it make it look better or does it make it harder to read? Eh, I'll just keep one. Okay. Let's see. Oh, and I need to change my Pixelscape's logo to match. Because the Lord knows it's got to match. So you see what I mean? When I slide through the hues, how it changes the rainbow aspect of the Pixel... <laughs> Pixelscape's logo, that's what I like about the colors I use because it lets me automatically adjust. Okay, there's my death slot. And I think that's it for my broadcast tonight because I gotta go. Um, but next up, next time I broadcast, I'm gonna have a shambling mound, a genie, a fairy dragon, an awakened tree and shrub, a trogodite, kobolds, a mermaid. I've got all this stuff drawn. I just need to color it. So I'm probably going to do some more broadcasting in the next few nights. So uh, thank you for coming by. I really appreciate it. And uh, I hope you had fun. See you on Twitter. Let's see. Bye.